In the last episode, Spider tried to eat my face and squished a giant bug out of a small boot and so-called Great Decker Tree pops it. How is everyone doing? Welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. This is where we left off earlier, running in circles, and that guy's gone somewhere. I forget him. Anyway, now we are done with the Great Deku Tree and his insides. We can leave this very green and brown place and head off to, well, Hyrule Castle, I guess. There is one stop to make on the way. That's after this Binter's talk to us. Oh, look at those eyes. Because you are different from me and my friends. Am I not your friend? What's that you got in your hands? Ooh. Do, 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 do. <sighs> this is a memento from Soraya. Cool. Come on, hurry up. Uh, yeah, this is mainly going to be... Uh, we'll go off to Hyrule Castle. One stop off on the way. Do bits and pieces there. It should be good. As Link awkwardly steps away and runs. Not only is he afraid of bridges, he's afraid of little green girls with fairies. But yeah, okay, fair enough. There's nothing wrong with that. And welcome to the world map, I suppose. Hello. Right, go. But before you can go much further, this tool starts talking to you. Although he can be quite useful later in the game, but right now all he does is tell you things you already know. You will encounter many hardships ahead. I hope so, otherwise it wouldn't be worth really playing the game, would it? Yeah, okay. Yeah. If you're lost and don't know which way to go, look at the map. Oh, look. I press B and I go skip all that. Did you get all that? Yes. Alright then, I'll see you around. Hoot, hoot, hoot. I'll quickly show what he was on about. Go to the map. Um, you'll see the flashing areas. That's areas you can go to. Um, and obviously at that uh, market, we haven't been there yet. Uh, we haven't been to the Lawn Ranch yet. So they're in white. But anyway. No. The place we need to go is back into the forest. You'll be happy to hear. And you need to wait until it goes dark. Uh, it won't take long. I mean, if I look in the... I've got the sun up there now and it's heading down, so it should be about 30 seconds. So I'll fade into when it's gone dark. Right, it's just about to go dark. And when it goes dark... These appear. They go down pretty easy, so don't be too worried about them. Forget about them from now. So you want to head back into the forest, head right up this slope, head back on yourself and go behind this tree house here, because that is there. So let's jump attack at it, backflip for it, there we go, another gold scuttler. That's it in here, so now we can actually leave this forest and uh, won't be back here for a while now. I say a while, actually. I think we do have to come back quite soon for something. But for now, we don't need to, so go. 
Alright, avoid all the monsters, and they come up pretty slowly out of the floor, so you should be fine. And take your first steps out onto the uh, vast region of Hyrule Field, I suppose. Um, quick tip, at least for this version, I don't know if it's going to be the same on the 3DS, but running backwards and holding the whatever aim is, is actually quicker. So, do that if you want. But, it means you can't see much, so, yeah. And plus, we can't actually get into the, uh, into the Hyrule Castle area until the drawbridge comes down. The drawbridge doesn't come down until it goes light again. So, if you stare up in the sky, there's the moon. Um, it's there, and it's going... Up straight down, so it won't be long now. Yeah, it's getting lighter. So they go down pretty easy. Come on, drawbridge. Oh, it's a big one. Go into the uh, into the market first. Go in here as well. This is a good area to know because there's a lot of rupees in here that you can get, and you just have to exit the door, and um, they all respawn again. Cool. Another thing in there is another gold scutter. That don't forget it. There. Now you're going to need at least 20 rupees for the next um, for something we're going to do very shortly so either make sure you've got at least 20 or um, it's very easy to get a bit more so yeah whatever I hope you've got your marksmanship fingers on so leave and head back down the street into the main area of the market. Wanna head across? Look at all the people. All the happy people. What the fuck? <laughs> Sorry, uh, got uh, distracted. Anyway, what you wanna do is head through here. Talk to the big guy. The big guy. Do you want to play a game? It's 20 rupees per play. Yes, I do. Right, basically, I'm going to use B to shoot the rupees as they come. Now they all appear in the same order. In the exact same order every time, so... Oh, I missed it. Shit. Right. If you hit eight or... Oh, balls. If you hit eight or nine of them, um, you get another go for free. So that's why I say you need at least 20 rupees. See, he says almost. And I get a go for free, so make sure you get at least 8 or 9. Obviously you want 10, so. Alright. Come on, guys, you can do this. No, no, I can't, apparently. No. Oh. oh, no, I failed. Bloody hell. Oh, so, oh no. <laughs> yes, I want another go. Right, one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. No, no! Oh, bloody hell. Nine again. This could be a while. Oh, this analog stick on this controller is so tetchy. One, two. Come on. Yeah! Right. 
Here's a fantastic present. Deku Seeds bullet bag. This holds up to 40. As we saw before, we had 30 Deku Seeds for a slingshot. Now we have 40. Cool. Um, there's the only thing you can do right now, so head straight up here. Do -do 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 -do. Um, time flows normally here, uh, as the stupid owl is going to mention. Uh, I wonder if I can skip this. Yes, guards, don't get caught, yes. Okay, right, sod it. Do you want to hear what I say again? No, I don't. You're a smart kid, good luck. Right, okay. Um, so you need to wait until it goes dark again. Just to save some time, but also roll into this tree. Another gold skull teller. You'll find out what these are for uh, very soon. Um... But for right this second, the only thing we can do is wait for it to go dark. So I'm going to fade out again, and I'll see you in a bit. Well, it's gone dark, but I'm having so much fun. Guys, you're recording. Go. Okay, right. You want to head back into the village because there's something we can get. Something very useful. What you want to do is head on over here. Trying to avoid the stupid dogs. No, go away. Oh, right, okay. Right, what you want to do is come into this area, avoiding all the stupid little dogs. Except for one. Right, let's go this way around instead. Oh, go away. People dancing at night, weirdos. Right, what you want is this little white dog here to follow you. Yeah, we got him. All you have to do is walk into him and he will follow you. You want to go through that back alley that you're there and through this door here. Talk to the big fat woman. The do <laughs> Richard. And we get our first little bit of heart. So you need four of them to get a new heart container. Obviously, when we defeated the last boss, we got a container straight away, but if you collect four quarters, I suppose you get another one. So, yeah. That's that here, really. And head back up towards the castle. And talk to this little weird girl that's... That's... What the fuck's she doing? Yeah, talk to her. Yo, yeah, well, your clothes are very weird as well. <laughs> yes, I'm a fairy boy. Right, okay, so her dad's gone to the castle. It's not come back. Talk to her again. Would you mind finding my dad? Yes. Come on. So we have an egg. Right, okay. Head up these vines and we're going to sneak our way into the castle. Um, doing what we did in the order that we just did. Um, save some time in the end because we've got to wait until morning for the egg to hatch. And seeing, ow, seeing as it's night now, morning is not far away. So it works out in the end. But you want to follow this exact path, sort of up to the castle so you don't get caught by the guards because they'll just chuck you out and you'll have to start again. So yeah, that chicken's going to hatch soon. It's going to be a good time for everyone. Apart from the guy that we're going to wake up, up with it. So make sure you jump into the water here because if you go along there, the guards are going to see it. Few rupees floating in the water. Jump up here, and any minute now the egg is going to hatch. There we go.
Yep, you're sleeping. Yeah, okay. Head into your menu, get your newly hatched chicken. Uh, I'm not going to save. Use it on this lazy bastard. What in tarnation? Talk to him. And this would be Marlon's father. Went to the castle, delivered some milk, but I sat down here to get some rest, and I guess I fell asleep. You're not a very good father, are you? Not very good at delivering milk. Just leaving it there. <laughs> okay. Right. Ignoring the funny way that he just ran away. Grab these boxes. These conspicuously placed boxes. So he's not delivered them very well, are they? Just chuck there. We need to push him off this platform. Come on, Link. Push harder. Come on. Right. Keep pushing it. Doodly doodly doo. Climb up and jump. Crawl into this wet hole. Bow chicka bow wow. And we're in the castle courtyard. Uh, that's going to be it for this episode, so. Yeah. Concentrate, guys. Commentary. Uh, yeah, so subscribe and all that jazz, and uh, bye bye.